Yes, we are back with another episode of Rags to Riches. Now, game one, got no excuses. For some reason, my teammates were just playing so garbage. I tried my best to get them involved. And, yeah, they was catching that work. CP3, DeAndre Jordan, Blake Griffin, all the stars on this team just didn't show up, man. So, starting off the game two, we already down 4 nothing. I'm using this pick. You know me, I'm moving back and forth. Got the one-on-one -on -one situation. Decided to put the man in the post, turn around, jumper, get that to fall right there. You know, I got to set the tempo. Got to get the crowd going. Got to get the momentum just flowing through our veins right now. And right there, this dude, Chris Sato, could not buy a three to save his career. <laughs> like, literally. Like, these dudes are still playing like last game. Like, the momentum just transferred over. Only good thing now is, like, you know, I'm taking more chances, you know, pulling up, getting perfect releases, knocking shots down. You know, I cannot wait on these dudes to, you know, get themselves going. I got to get myself going first. So, you know, just being a natural-born leader, I'm just trying my best, man. Trying to get our team, you know, heads right. As the score is 13-7 and seven right there, I'll find my way to the basket. Look at this. Trying to get my teammates in, and Sato still can't knock down a trade, man. He got to bench this dude. This dude is really, you know, slowing us down right now. Like, we, we could already have 10 points on two. We got a game tied right now. Look at Damian Lillard. Oh, my goodness. Like, this dude is a freaking animal. <laughs> he was the scoring champion in his past season. He beat me by, what, an average of two and a half points a game. Like, I averaged, what, 24.7, and he averaged, like, 20, 27.2. what two. So, he pretty much was a scoring champion this past year. It was no crazy numbers. Melo didn't, wasn't up there. KD. I think he was second in the line. And I think KD ended up winning MVP for the second straight, well, third straight, you know, year in his my career. So, as you see, coming down at the end of the first quarter, we are down 25, hold on, 28 to 13, man. This is a freaking disgrace. 28 to 13. And then I get bitched for the majority of the entire second quarter. So, we are coming in second, uh, late in the second quarter where things got crazy. And right there, trying to posterize this dude, Robert Lopez. And I did not even know that DeAndre Jordan can actually knock down jumpers. Like, where was that at last game? Like, but right there, we on the fast. But I'm calling for going over there. Nice, too easy jam, man. I don't even know what I'm saying no more. Because I'm just so frustrated. I can't even think straight. But right there, feeding DeAndre Jordan with a nice bounce pass right there. I'm surprised that he did not swat that pass down. I guess he just... Didn't have the awareness to, you know, read that. But right there, you see me pulling up the mid-range jumper, knocking the shot down once again. As I did cut it down to just 11 points. And a few possession went past. Now this is only a nine-point game. And right there, Damian Lillard trying to make a statement by knocking down the top of the key tray. But he ended up missing, which I really like right now. But Sato, you know, he going to find me right here. And I do catch a facial right there on Robert Lopez because he was not ready. No. <laughs> But it's just crazy, man. All we got to do is get a few stops. Look at Damian Lillard getting the, getting the shot blocked from Blake Griffin. And we're running the fast break. And right there trying to set up Sato once again. And he could not finish. But I'm getting the offense rebound going over that nice reverse two-hand jam right there. And right now, I'm putting my heart on the line. I got to make sure we win. We cannot go down 0 and 2 in Lob City. Like, that would be a disgraceful. Our whole season would just be over that quick. But look at the nice turnaround jumper that quick. As we only down by just one possession. So, yeah. The coach really did just bench me. Um, you know, I was going ham and, uh, <laughs> kind of like just coming off. Like, I don't know why would you do that. I was on a freaking run. But coming back in the game, JJ Reddick finding you, boy. I'm pulling up. Ooh. Early release, but still knocked down the tray to cut, the, cut it down to just a two point game. Now, only thing we got to do is get a few stops. They don't have their stars in, so we really don't have nothing too much to worry about. But look at this dude. Nicholas Batum forcing a jumper in my face. I almost made it. But you know me. <sighs> Trying to find a nice place. Bounce out call from Jordan Farmar. And guess what? The ball don't really get to me yet. But when I get right here, you know me. I'm trying to do all I can. But find a JJ Redick top of the key. Foot was on that line, but I do pick up a nice assist. And we do end up tying the game up. Now, I know you guys been wondering where the GTA intro was at. That I promise, well, you guys did reach 400 likes the next day. So, tomorrow's video, we'll have a GTA intro. 
you know, most likely, you know, it might have two GTA intros just because I might be debuting my new series. Don't really know yet, man. We got to see how things go. But we are in the you know, fourth quarter right now. The game is tied 70 to 70. And right there, using this pick best as I can. I'm seeing Sato wide open. I believe in you. And he finally knocks down a tray. Finally knocks down a jumper. Finally knocks down a freaking field goal. He's one for seven, man. So that was a big, you know, icebreaker right there. And we used to pick and roll once again. And right there, finding Sato. Sato pulling up. And he knocks back that back shots down. That's what I'm talking about. My team is actually stepping up this game, man. DeAndre Jordan, DJ is really playing great. Playing defensively, getting boards. He actually scoring pretty well. I think he got like 20 points this game. And I got 28, so, I mean, that's just a plus. But look at me posterizing this dude right there. I think that's LaMarcus Aldridge under the basket. Becoming a victim. But we was down by three, and I got to be very aggressive, man. And right there, DeAndre Jordan going, let me reset. Going around him, going baseline, rising up, slamming it down once again. And that was Nicholas Batum getting yammed on this time. Don't get up under that rim, dog. Just don't. Like, save yourself from the embarrassment. But we are down by three once again. I'm losing control of the ball, so I got to reset. And look at Blake Griffin. Want to step up. Get in, Bucky. Look at the turnaround jumper, though. <laughs> As it is a one-point game. We need a stop. Look at Marcus Aldridge trying to mimic what Blake Griffin did. You ain't Blake Griffin, baby. And I ain't Chris Moo, baby. So leave me alone in the comments. But right there, you see me getting in the paint. Look at the nice assassins. Blake, Blake Griffin slams it down with two as we take a one-point lead. And if we can get a stop and score again, man, it can really give us some breathing room. But Damian Lillard is playing no games. This dude is like a 2K god. He's freaking godlike on Hall of Fame. So we're down one and look at me pulling up, knocking them down, going over the cheesy up and under as we take back the lead. That's all that matters. You end up taking back the lead once again. I'm shooting just two shots up under, you know, 50%, but it's all good, man. Right there, they come up with the double team. Look at the ball of movement. CP3 could not, <laughs> could not knock down the clutch shot right there. I'm playing so aggressive. I do not want to, you know, send them to the line or anything. But it's all good, though, because we got a mismatch. Right there, I'm getting a clutch steal, and CP3 is out on the break, slamming it down as he was against the races right there. And Damon Lillard could not keep up. So we are up by one point. We cannot let these dudes score at all. And right there, my man going baseline. I was slacking. I was slacking. And right there, end up jumping up, and my man end up scoring the contested layup. Oh, my goodness, man. If we lose this game, it's all on me. Man, I got to put the team on my back. Got to put the team on my back. If I lose this game, I'm going to forfeit the rest of the playoffs. But right here, you see me getting the inbound. They end up coming with the double T. And who did I find? Sato almost missed the layup right there. <laughs> if he would have missed the layup, I would have just quit it, man. I would have quit it life. I would have quit the NBA. I would have just retired. But we end up winning the game right there. Sato had to slow down. He didn't want to miss the layup like Brendan Jennings. And we end up walking, walking out victorious. He was down by freaking 15 points in the first quarter. And we made a nice little comeback. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'm out. Bye,